This might be a short and sweet little review, but it's a short and sweet little knife. You know what I mean? Love them knives. Channel, in case you didn't know where you were, buddy. Um, VG10, brother, brother. And of course, you know, me and Wonton, the designer, we hang out all the time. We're like brothers, what can I say? Brothers. Oh my God, I didn't even mean to say that. Uh, no, I don't know who the designer is. I looked here and there and then gave up. It's the 1503 model knife. And this is a little um, lockback knife from Brother Knives. Check it out, here it is. Okay. I will give you uh, the link to Brother Knives uh, Instagram also to the store that that they they told me where to go and w you know w where I should steer people if they were interested and, and let me see if I can actually get the actual store name but I'll give you a link to this store I think I cut it off he had knife sent some kind of knife center store and I yeah it cut it off with my printer it's just all kinds of love but um, yeah, I mean, Brother Knives is doing a bunch of different models, new models. This is the one we're talking about here. It's a whopping, whopping 3264. It's a little block bag. It's VG10. It's carbon fiber. It's steel on the bolsters. Uh, here's you go. They're a little blurb. You can pause and read. Okay. And, uh. And then, oh, yeah, I'm going to get me the 1505 model, which is different. This is my card here, and it cut the thing off. So look on their Instagram. Look on this. I believe this is uh, their DH Gate store or AliExpress store. It'll be one or the other. I'll, I'll, I'll show you in the, down in the, in the description section. Also, top of the comment section. I'll put all that stuff there. But cheapest chips. I was impressed when I got this knife. Check this out. Get you a drawstring bag. One knife. One life. That's it. My cat, he doesn't get these because he's got nine lives. So he, he you know, not a problem. Cool looking knife though. Not as sharp as I would have liked out of the box, but that can be remedied, can it not? Uh, let me get a little piece of paper here. I mean, it'll, you know, I mean, it's as sharp as some of the knives that I've, you know, that I've had on this channel. So, uh, not overly, but it was, it, it's adequate. I mean, it'll slice paper. It's not scary razor sharp, that's for sure. I like the fit and finish on this. Check it out. Here's the carbon fiber. Look it over. I mean, we're talking 32 smackers, you know? That's, that's not a ton. Look inside. Okay. These steel liners, steel bolsters. And no, I don't think you're going to disassemble this anytime soon. Um, I have no play or anything. No play there. It's centered. It seems pretty solid. And, you know, actually, uh, you can open this one-handed by just, watch this, you just do it like this. Since it's not a slip joint, uh, it's not going to kind of have that spring to want to drop back down in there because it's a lock back. So you can drop it and it drops right away. I think I would probably not trust that to hold it like this and drop it away. Tip it down when you drop it away. That way it's not gonna swing back up and hit your hand. Just a recommendation. But it drops away really nice. Uh, swings free, easy. So. It's really smooth. It feels smooth. And I think they said something about a bronze washer setup on this. Oh, yeah, you can see it in there. 
if you look really carefully down at the bottom here. So it is smooth. That's nice. I mean, you know, for no more than it costs. It's interesting. Brother Knives has been one that I've been aware of for several years now. But they've really come out recently, or at least I woke up and discovered, that they've come out with some different models. Lockback knives now. And also, i show you this. I got this one on order. The 1701. So I saw this on their Instagram. No, it's not a Dirk Pinkerton design here. It's the blade actually continues. I got another printer, you know, snafu. But this is interesting because this is a titanium flipper and it's a D2 blade and it was a whopping 57 bucks ceramic bearings and stuff. So I thought I'd take a chance on this. I'll get it PMI'd and, and rock weld and stuff like that and get back to you on that. But it doesn't seem like a huge risk. Especially once I had this, and where, where's the backside? And the backside has got machining on it too. So it's not like some knives where they machine the front and then the backside does, gets no love, right? And all this seems really interesting to me here. Uh, so I'll get back to you on it. This one for now though is a nice little knife and it's not very big. Uh, Kick it out here and two, not even in three quarter, but two and five eighths all day long. So 67, 68 millimeter blade, six and a quarter overall length and not quite 16 uh, centimeters of VG10 stainless. So I'm, I'm, I'm up with that. I mean, there's been a bit of D2 fatigue around here. And yes, this is cool. And you know, this is just one of those little ones. Just throw in your pocket. You know, do you need a pocket clip? No, you do not need a pocket clip on this knife. Not at all. Um, and let's go to the scales. And throw it on here. 76 grams. Roll it back around to ounces, 2.68. So nice and lightweight, but you know, for no bigger than it is, it, it feels substantial, but it's a lot like a, you know, a folding buck knife or case knife or something like that. And it seems to be pretty competitive from a uh, pricing standpoint. Break it away again. So it's a one-hander. Technically, you could do that one-handed, open and close. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Probably not a piercing champ, but it looks pretty well made. You know, if you look at the plunge and everything, nice satin grind on it. Nail nick on this side. Carbon fiber, check for voids. Uh, looks good. Backside. Uh, also looks really good. So, uh, you know, it's really hard to knock it. Kind of like this little uh, design in here. Breaks it up. Makes it, gives a little bit of that retro look. You know, it looks so kind of 1950s, 60s uh, style. And yeah, it is that kind of style. But yeah, I, I just thought I'd bring it to your attention. I mean, it's good in the hands and I can get all my fingers kind. I mean, this one's kind of following up, but you know, I can get all my fingers on there and it's a lock black. It's not a slip joint. Uh, I, I probably ought to get this rock weld, and I will. I'll, I'll go get a number hit on this. It'll be in one of my upcoming batches when it comes back, and we'll just kind of see. I'll probably get it PMI'd, too, just to make sure the composition of the steel says that it's VG10. No problem there as well. I, I doubt if uh, there's any deceit going on there, but, you know, just since it's new to me, it's not an established one that we've checked the steels on before because I don't remember sending any brother brand knives in for uh, analysis. So I will do that. 
But, you know, me and traditional knives, no, not really uh, so much. But I'm starting to get a little bit more into that. You'll see I'll have some more slip joint or lockbacks coming in the future. Uh, so I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I know Wes, my buddy up in New York, has been pushing me about, you know, uh, Great Eastern Cutlery, GEC knives and things like that. And, you know, it was, I guess at my age, I just grew up with so many of these around all the time. And I used to collect case knives and things like that, folding knives. So uh, what I've been doing recently was an escape from that. But as, you know, as the tide turns, you float back into... Uh, things that you thought you walked away from in the past because what's old is now new again. And it's a classy look. The fit and finish is good on this knife. I really don't have any major uh, hits on it. Uh, it. You know, it looks pretty well done. What you see is what you get here. I don't know. Check them out. Instagram. Uh, and, of course, I'll give you the link to the store, the Knife Center store. I forgot whether it's an AliExpress or DH Gate one, but uh, the link, will, it'll, I'll tell you in the, in the description section. Interesting. I don't know if you feel like it's too billboarded up. It's got a lot of stuff on there, doesn't it? The 1503 is kind of large. I don't know that you need that big of a smack on the blade for the designer and i don't know what number 354 and i don't know why it would be that big i would make the printing much smaller much smaller uh sometimes manufacturers just get so proud of themselves but you know it kind of looks like a case knife that's a nascar commemorative or something with a lot of writing all over it uh, it's a little little much i get it but I tend to overlook things like that. I just care more about fit and finish. Uh, you know, whether the actual grind was done nicely. Uh, if things are symmetrical. If the carbon fiber is quality inlay. This is pretty seamless right here. And coming over here. Uh, almost can't nick it at all with nail. I barely can 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 nick it with my nail there okay here yeah ba barely but i mean that's a pretty smooth little lay in there right yeah that's 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 pretty good did a great job i really like the fact that they did use carbon fiber so yeah I i'm pretty pleased with it i'll be looking forward to the the 15 05 with the micarta and that's a lock back as well and then the 1701 which is that crazy titanium looking thing so we're gonna have a few more and then they do fit, make fixed blade knives and other things like that so check out the store online check them out on instagram if you've got any questions just message them through instagram and uh yeah they they'll talk to you they uh, that's how i go back and forth with them Interesting, I think I've seen patty potato peelers also talking about these. So, absolutely, uh, I'm pretty impressed. Here you go. Not a bad little box, like kind of like a spider coat box, I guess. Uh, probably exactly like a spider coat box. But this, like, burlap pouch. So, actually, that's more than you get for spider coat. Interesting. I'll let you have it. Cool little knife, though. Take care, my friends. Brother knives. Brother, I'm going to leave it with you. And stay sharp, too.